To me, one of the, the greatest travesties is how Darwinism has actually inhibited scientific discovery. It's gotten in the way of scientific discovery. And so often, when as a creationist, I'm accused of doing that very thing by saying God did it. That people always argue, well, if God did it, that shuts down scientific investigation. But sometimes when you say evolution did it, that shuts down scientific investigation as well. And a beautiful example of this has to do with so-called junk DNA. When the human genome sequence was first reported, 2000, 2001, something around there, the claim was 95% of the human genome was garbage, was non-functional junk DNA, vestiges of evolution. Well, this view arose out of the evolutionary paradigm, and nobody was willing to actually study that. But you had creationist and intelligent design proponents saying, we think that that DNA is actually functional. And lo and behold, about 15 years later, we now have a very different view. Junk DNA is functional. Well, that discovery was actually delayed by a decade or more by an evolutionary framework. If there was a, an intelligent design or a creation model framework, we would have discovered function for this DNA decades earlier. And so I think Darwinism does inhibit a scientific advance. And again, to me, the ir irony is that many times the accusation is that creationism inhibits scientific advance. But I think that if you are a creationist, you have m the greatest motivation of all to study the creation because everything you learn about the creation is telling you something about how God did it. And to me, that just evokes a sense of awe and worship at, at, the, at my creator to think this is how he did it. I get to, a glimpse into what he did, into his ingenuity and, and his genius, and it just makes me want to worship God more.